morning everyone i called my kids this morning and told them good morning for school they're getting ready um i'm gonna go out and see some of my friends uh, go visit the church that um i always i've been with for about a year and a half but this is another church group um they actually awarded me some stuff on friday they ordered um they gave me a red monkey i go cool they call me monk and then they gave me a gold um, necklace and i was like cool you know, I we we have a golden heart out here, so I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and then uh, what I'm worried about this morning is Jessica Goodrow. Is she going to come to work? Rosanna, are you going to go to work? Uh, Otis Brotherton, are you going to work? All three of you guys are Yoli. Are you going to work? Um, your guys' domestic violence program won't help me. I'm the only one that got a man, a child molester banned from the reservation. None of you guys wanted him banned. You guys all wanted him on there. Was it because he's filling your guys' gardens? Because right now your gardens I see look kind of empty. You know, um, let's see what else. Um, oh, my paperwork that I filed and I'll take pictures. I've been filing for the um, videotape and everything for Jessica threatening me. You know what they say up there in Covalo? They say, it's too late, Trista. It, it already happened, so it's too late. And I said, how can it be too late? The lady's sitting on my fucking equal case and she won't get off. Not only did she threaten me, she threatened she threatened Sheena. She threatened, um, who else? She threatened uh, Keisha. She threatened uh, Audie Rose. She threatened... Um, who else did she threat? She sits up in those offices and threatens my sisters without them knowing. And then she's all mad. You know, that who else did I see? There was this one girl, um, Tipsy. She said she, that's Misty's girl. I was actually her head start teacher for almost a year and a half. Yeah, not Well, we practically, the lady had hearing problems. So I was practically the teacher for Pinoleville for a year and a half. And, um, you know, all they say is, oh, well, those girls are all on drugs. They, they can't get nowhere, can't do nothing. But with Yuki Trails and Jessica's statements that they give to the people when they go to the programs, um, they're they're already they're already labeled when they get there. So with being being labeled, those girls are being mean to them, and the counselors are being mean to them, and it's all because of Jessica, Yuki Trails, and our fucking tribe that they can't get out to succeed. Because when they get there, they have to come back, and because they're being mean to them, they're being mean to them. Unless that's you flying all around, Jessica, tormenting my sisters, you know. And what I don't get is, you know, like, I know marijuana is supposed to be legal and stuff. But not when you're working for a federal government. Not when you're working for a federal government, Jessica. What are you doing with your weed? Huh? Are you selling it? Where's the taxes on that? What about you, Rosanna? Are, where's the taxes on all your weed you have up on our stuff? There's actually a restraining order against Medicine Hill right now. Nobody is supposed to be up there. Oh, but when Rosino got into um, tribal police, uh, who was it? Skeeter Vansicle and his kids tried to go and get the video and the paperwork and the restraining order on that property. And they, um, they couldn't get it. Guess what, guys? I got it. I got the restraining order on that property. You shouldn't have been mean to us, Rosino. You know, uh, Jordan was nice to us, you know, uh, shit, even her own man waves at us, you know, and Jordan helped me do the paperwork, you know, and you're probably out there being mean to them, you know, that that's all our property. It don't just belong to you, you know, and it shows what type of, type of person you are to even be working in there. And you're the one who called the district attorney's office, Rosino. You called them and let them know I was coming down. Are they on your paycheck too? Are you getting those blank checks too? Because there's only how many people that work in that office? I mean, there's how many jobs up in that office and you guys won't hire no one? And why won't you give me my business license? Because you know I'm getting a $750 million grant to start a new program. But you guys will not give me my business license. And I have the paperwork on there. He's like, oh, you only, you only filed for it for 13 days ago. I'm like, dude, I've been filing it for about a year and a half now. Because I keep everything stamped and dated. You know, that's what you're supposed to do. So, um, if I can get a bunch of people to call Round Valley uh, Tribes, it's 707-983-6126. Um, we have the biggest missing children in, uh, in California. We have the most missing children in the world, I would think. 
are at least in the United States. I mean, I went, when I went to church, they were talking about the Ukraine, how they have 56 kids. And I was like, holy shit, we have like 100 and something. You know, and they're unknown. Unknown. I mean, how many? I mean, that was like in 2017. And now it's 2023. What do you think that lady did up there for a year and a half with all our kids' paperwork? You know, she was going through her emails just fast. You know, her and Jim trying to figure out, oh, well, they didn't email us. Let's get rid of this. Can someone start calling the district attorney's office and start having them look into our children? I mean, come on now. Even CPS is fucking involved. Are you guys getting paid too? Are you guys getting those blank checks? Or are all you guys all walking around with those credit cards? Because they was making credit cards up there. That's where all the money was going. That's why they want credit cards for the country in it. And no more cash to be, um, what do you call it, um, followed, right? That's Kovalo's idea. To come all the way from Round Valley. Figures it'd be the biggest reservation in fucking California that's got to fuck up. You know, but we have youth. We have youth that can actually change that. You know, once we get all that tribal council out of there, there's actually one girl who stood up there and actually paid attention and cared about what I had to say. That was Tessie Awant. Tessie Awant was the only one that sat up there serious and stared at me and was like, dude, she's fucking serious, dude. There's some shit going on. But one girl against how many of them up there? I asked them to get me my tapes from the jailhouse because I was almost raped in there. You know, some of them laughed. They laughed about me almost being raped in the jailhouse. A lady laid in her pee and blood for three fucking days. The jailhouse has me out. I was only in there for eight hours. I counted the fucking meals, you motherfuckers. I know how long I was in that motherfucking place. Is that why the guy that actually knew Tobe, you know, our friend from the district attorney, you guys won't let me speak to him when I came in? You guys put another fat guy in to see if I... Oh, was it the same guy? No, it wasn't the same guy. The motherfucker was fatter than shit. But you guys are getting paid from our tribe. You guys got to be checking their fucking... Um, their monies. Who's running around? And they'll run low, too. They'll run They'll run gift cards. They'll run... Um, uh, they'll only buy, like, their clothes and stuff. It, it'll be something low that they that they all live on. Because they want don't want to get tracked. But that's our district attorney's office up there, or here in Mendocino County. At least the district attorney's office in Humboldt County actually sat out and listened to what I had to say. They was like, holy shit, we're sorry. We're sorry for doing that to your daughter. You know, we're sorry for doing that to your family. You know, start writing us letters because we got new people in. But not these guys here in uh, Mendocino County. But you guys are fucking scared. You guys let a fucking pervert go. You guys scared that you guys let him fucking, you guys didn't make him register two years before coming into my motherfucking house. So he raped two kids before that. Mendocino County. Sitting in a little black box of fucking politicians and fucking lawyers and judges. We're Boy Scouts of America. That's where Kevin Johnson sits. That's why he was able to rape my children. Or one of them charged, right? One, just one. Jessica's friend grew up with him. Jessica Goodrow grew up with Kevin Johnson. Best friends told the whole goddamn town she didn't know him. She didn't know him or his family. I get up there. His family said that they didn't know Jessica Goodrow. They grew up in the motherfucking town, you dumb motherfuckers. Yeah, you knew him, Ashley Martin. You brought her to town, Jessica. You had her staying at my Aunt Audra's house. In my grandfather's house. When Audra first got it. You're lucky I have a good memory. And you know how I know I have a good memory? Go talk to Nancy Hinthorn. She'll tell you what kind of hamburger I cooked her all the time. It was a Swiss burger with mushrooms. That's how I remember how are you working for our fucking tribe? You have a house up in fucking table or up in Bear River. You got fucking land there. 
And then you got a motherfucking house. <coughs> they say your man's registered. They say Jessica's man's registered, either a rapist or, or something. So he's registered, but he can stay in the housing. Let him stay in the housing, right? That's cool, right? Let him stay in the housing. And with everybody else's charges that they have, hey, nothing compared to mine. But I was threatened. Don't speak on the Native American stuff. But it's not the Native American stuff you guys are using. Jessica Goodrow, Rosano, fucking anyone wants to put on the $9 million roundhouse. It's Jim Jones's stuff you're using in Charles Manson. It's registered in the courthouses. Jim Jones killed one of our local people. And I was trained by them, trained to notice this. It's you guys. It's you, Jessica. I mean, what the fuck, man? You guys going to wait until our kids end up committing suicide up there and actually, actually do it? You guys are going to be standing at their motherfucking graves where all those people in councils fucking laughing all around? All those people in their fucking tribal building laughing all around? You guys going to be laughing when you're standing there throwing dirt on their motherfucking graves? I thank God, um, what do you call it, got up and spoke for Head Start. And she looked at me like, Trista is serious. And that was um, Jolene. Jolene Whipple got up and spoke and said, you know, and she looked at me like, did you really know this is going on? Because she's probably scared for our motherfucking kids up there. You know, they don't know what's wrong. No one will speak. But I'll speak. You're registered, Jessica. You're registered with Jim Jones and Charles Manson, Kevin Johnson, Road K in Red Valley. Road K. Now I found all this stuff. Dude, we happen to be related to them. Ask little Jerry. He has our fucking, um, he has my timeline up there. Post it, Lidge. Post my timeline on there and show them who we're all related to. Because I bet the Hurts, the Russells, all those guys don't want nothing happening to their children up there. Because it's in the schools. You know, Jessica can do this to me and uh, my kids. Did she fucking taught her kids it? So when you, the kids, I mean, if you t check out our kids at school, I bet there's going to be hella that have grades gone down. Some dropped out. I mean, that's how our school's going to be run. Inner thinkers. They're training their children at the age of four to fucking torment the teachers down there. To torment the other children. You know, what happens if your kids go out and you play against Kovalo and one of, you hit one of Jessica's kids or you hit somebody like that? You know, when her family's kids, what's going to happen? Your kids are going to go home and they're going to torment them from Kovala? Because they can. So check out the grades. Whoever went around and played these guys, you know, check out the schools. Check out to see if their grades are low. You know, whoever was on the basketball teams. I mean, and, and, and it's sad to say, and it's scary to say. I mean, it's the scariest fucking thing to think about. It's the scariest fucking thing to say. But it has to be done. You know, it, it has to be done. It, it's scary. You know, I sat over there with Barbara Wilsey and um, Edna and all them and Brenda Pena and all them at the housing building. They always told me about this, this all the time to be prepared, what to look for. You're it, Jessica? Rosino? Who else? I can name all you guys. I told the elders which ones can do shit. You know how many people are sitting on council that can do stuff? It's fucking sad and sick up in Kovala. I mean, it's sad. I hope you guys end up behind bars.